Hello everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you live from Armenia, one of my favorite countries on the planet. For the past 10 days, I've been exploring the entire country, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the top 10 places you have to visit when you come to this nation. But before we get into that, I wanna to talk to you about the biggest risk people take while traveling, using public Wi-Fi. We all know that cyber criminals can see and can steal the info you send and receive on Wi-Fi, even if it's password protected. We just accept that that is the case when we travel and use public Wi-Fi, but giving up that security so I can work makes me a little uncomfortable. Luckily, you can use Norden VPN to keep the information safe. Just download the app before your flight and use it every time you connect to public Wi-Fi. It begins protecting you the moment you turn it on. That way, when you use public Wi-Fi to log into hotel reward sites or use health tracking apps, you can do it knowing that NordenVPN is keeping the information you send and receive safe and secure. It also always allows you to access your local content, which you might not have access to in other countries. I'm using NordenVPN as we speak, and I feel a lot more secure knowing it's protecting all the info I send and receive while I'm here in Armenia. Now let's dive into the top 10 places you have to visit when you come to Armenia. Let's start with the capital and largest city in the country, Yerevan. Yerevan is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world and dates back to the founding of Erebuni Fortress in the 8th century BC. Yerevan is the heart of Armenia and offers some of the tastiest cuisine in the country. I highly recommend trying dishes like lavash, which is a tasty flatbread, and dolmas, which are meat or vegetables wrapped in a young grape leaf. Check out the Vernisaj market to find incredible handicrafts, art and jewelry and when you get hungry head over to the gum market which is an amazing place to eat people watch and see what life in armenia is all about and to get a good look into armenian culture and craftsmanship visit the megarian carpet museum the creations here are mind-blowing wow nice piece my friend wine pomegranate wine oh it's like it's like peppery and salty at the same time on the outside inside is a nice piece of meat this is crazy good from Yerevan, let's move on to Gegard, which is a medieval monastery located in Armenia's Ketek province, which is about an hour's drive from Yerevan. This monastery complex was founded back in the 4th century by St. Gregory the Illuminator. He founded Gegard, then known as Irimvank, at the site of the sacred spring located inside a cave. The monastery itself is partially carved out of a nearby mountain and is surrounded by the cliffs of the Azad River Gorge. Gegard's full name, Gegard Davank, translates to Monastery of Spear because it was once home to the spear that pierced Jesus Christ's side during the crucifixion. Because of its historical significance, Gagarin has been named the UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you're visiting Garni on a day trip, it's a great place to stop and have lunch. I highly recommend going there and making your own lavash, which is a fun and interactive way to learn more about Armenian culture and cuisine. But the main attraction in Garni is the pagan temple of Garni, which dates back to the 1st century AD and was likely built by King Tiradets I. The temple of Garni is the only colonnaded Greco-Roman building in the country and is known as one of the best pre-Christian symbols of Armenia. It is also a great representation of classical Greek architecture and is a must visit for any history buff. From Garni, let's make our way to Itzmiadzin. This is the fourth largest city in Armenia and is located just 11 miles west of Yerevan. Western sources refer to this as the holy city and is also considered Armenia's spiritual capital as it is home to some of the oldest churches and cathedrals on earth. Five of them are listed as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Even if you're not into history or religion, it's hard to visit sites like the Itzmiadzin Cathedral, which was the first cathedral in ancient Armenia, and not marvel at its architecture and beauty. There's also a restaurant in town where they prepare delicious fish in a contraption that harnesses the light of the sun to cook the food inside. It's one of the coolest and most unique experiences you'll have in Armenia. So it's gonna be like a smoky walnut taste throughout, right? Like yeah. just like melted throughout the whole thing. Whoa, it's like, this is, look at this. I didn't even understand how that happened. It's like the mirrors all hit it correctly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whoa, and you can hear it now. 
It's starting to like boil. Cool, you know, this is scientific solution. After you explore Ichmiatsin, you should head out to the fifth entry on our list of places to visit in Armenia, Lake Seven, which is the country's largest body of water. It sits over 6,200 feet above sea level and is home to 90% of the fish and 80% of the crayfish caught in Armenia. In addition to Lake Seven being a large lake and food source, it's also home to Sevenavak, a medieval monastery located on a peninsula on the northwestern shore. The monastery was established in 874 by Prince Mariam and was mainly intended as the home of monks from Ichmiatsin who had sinned. Sevenavak was also known for its strict rules which included abstaining from meat, wine, youth, or women. It's a fascinating piece of Armenian history and is a must visit on any tour around the country. Right here we have the ruins of the spiritual educational center. Basically this is where the monks would live. As you can see it's all in ruins, there's a lot of grass growing here. I wouldn't suggest it what I'm doing, but I'm very brave. Just going around. Yeah, this is this is what it is, you know, it's just ruins. The base, the foundation is still here, but obviously the rest of the building has fallen. From Lake Seven, let's continue on to Dilijan, a town in the Tuvash province in northern Armenia. The town is known for its traditional craft workshops and spa resorts. It's surrounded by forests and is often referred to as Little Switzerland or Armenian Switzerland by the locals. The forests of the surrounding Dilijan National Park are in a great place to see local wildlife like red deer. Dilijan is also a haven for Armenian artists and creators and is known for its traditional Armenian architecture. When you visit, I recommend checking out the local monasteries including the 13th century Hakatensin Monastery where you can make a delicious traditional bread called Gata. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the way it works is I have to get 100, 100 grams. 100 grams. 100 grams. So I'm gonna make a ball of 100 grams. Bigger? <laughs> like that? Like that? Is that good? Close it? This is awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice. So then roll it. Starts from Mashablavna. So I go like this. Ooh. Okay, okay. Okay, so just put it all over, right? Oh, oh. what am I doing? <laughs> As you make your way from Dilajan, you'll want to head over to Apaka Resort, which is an incredible accommodation that consists of authentic cottages with 22 rooms and stunning views of the surrounding mountains, rivers, and forests. All the rooms are large and spacious and feature balconies with panoramic views of the entire area. There's also a fantastic on-site restaurant that serves Armenian and European cuisine as well as a bar that sells alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. Nearby is the Yell Extreme Park where you can experience the unreal thrill of ziplining high above the Armenian countryside. One of the wildest experiences is off-roading to the summit of the nearby mountain which is a bumpy, insane ride I'll never forget. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, no! no! I almost had a heart attack! I mean, this tumbles, we're dead! <laughs> After you got in your fill of extreme activities, head over to the second largest city in Armenia, Gimri. It's located in the Shirak province in the northwestern part of the country. The area of modern day Gimri has been occupied since at least 2,000 years before Christ. Today, this city is known as the Arts and Crafts Center of Armenia because of its schools theaters, and performing artists known as Gusans. One of my favorite activities in Gimri was touring the different workshops and watching the artisans create beautiful pottery, carvings, and other crafts. The Gimri area is also home to several monasteries, churches, museums, monuments, and squares. Tell, tell them to do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Like fall asleep. Mm -hmm. That's it guys. How smooth do I look? My friend. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. From Gimri, let's head over to the ninth entry on our list of top places to visit in Armenia, the village of Areni. While the village is home to a gorgeous 14th century church and the ruins of the 13th century palace, Areni is best known for its wine production. There you can visit various wineries including the oldest winery in the world which is located in the Arani 1 cave complex in the nearby mountains. This winery is a whopping 6,100 years old and the wine that was produced there is thought to have been used for ceremonial purposes like funerals. The most popular thing to do in Arani is to visit the world famous Arani Wine Festival which began in 2008 and showcases the work of professionals and homemade wine and cheese makers. There you can also listen to live traditional music, watch dance performances and even try your hand at stomping grapes. If you're a wine lover like me, this festival is a can't miss. It takes place every October and is one of the many highlights of my trip through Armenia.
after you've had some fun at the Adani Wine Festival, you have to check out the final place you must visit in Armenia, Tetev Monastery. This gorgeous 19th century Armenian apostolic monastery is located on the edge of a deep gorge in the southern eastern part of the country. In the 14th and 15th century, Tetev Monastery hosted the University of Tetev, which is one of Armenia's most important medieval universities. There, you can also take a ride in the longest reversible cable car in the world and get sensational views of the surrounding area. This is really incredible. The views are so amazing. And she was actually telling me that usually it's packed. Usually say 30 people here, so definitely come early. We got there right when it opened at 10 in the morning. Actually, 9 in the morning we got there. 10 a.m. this starts, so you really, 10 a.m. people can actually take it up. With a country as beautiful and as fascinating as Armenia, there is no way I could just pick 10 places for you to visit. One of my absolute favorite spots in the country is the old Kandors Cave Village, which is a complex network of historical cave dwellings in eastern Armenia. There is very little level ground in this part of Armenia. So the ancient people who lived there dug caves into the hillside of the gorge, which was already home to natural caves. The inhabitants used a system of ropes and ladders to navigate the complex, which boasted three schools and two churches. The complex was inhabited as recently as the 1950s, when Soviet officials deemed them unsafe and forced the remaining villagers out. Because of its unique look, Old Kandor's cave village is sometimes referred to as the Cappadocia of Armenia. No trip to Armenia is complete without seeing this ancient settlement for yourself. And those are my top 10 places you have to visit in Armenia. I've been here for 10 amazing days and I'm in love with this country. From the food to the historical sites to the world famous wine and everything else in between. Armenia has blown my mind. I'm sure you're going to love it as much as I do when you come here. Where have you been?